When I posted a video about the NDP's Nikki Ashton billing an $18,000 personal vacation for her family of four to taxpayers, the public went nuts. If you missed that video, I'll have a link to it in the video description. While most of us have grown cynical of politicians in general, a lot of people expected more from not just any MP, but one that belongs to the NDP. After all, they are supposed to be the party of the working man. They're supposed to be the ones who empathize with the struggle of the average person. Well, it's definitely not sunny ways for the NDP anymore. Sunny ways, my friends, sunny ways. For more than two years now, the people have been calling on Jagmeet Singh to pull the plug on his supply and confidence agreement with Justin Trudeau. No matter what Trudeau does that violates the principles of the NDP or goes against their mandate, you can count on Jagmeet to prop up the prince. By now, we all know why. Jagmeet will be eligible for a pension come February 2025. So I think it's about time we finally look at exactly how much Jagmeet stands to withdraw from the public purse. If you suffer from any form of hypertension, don't watch the rest of this video before taking your meds. Yes, it really is that bad. Jagmeet could be in line to pick up to seven figures worth of pension payments and that'll be broken down in a second. First, let's start with how obscene the qualifying window is. Six years. Find me a job in the private sector, outside of sea levels of course, that'll set you up with a pension for such a small amount of time on the job. Just to be clear, that doesn't make me anti-pension. I fully believe the men and women serving in parliament should get some degree of money upon retirement in exchange for their years of service. However, the way the system is set up now, the pension is viewed as a prize rather than fair compensation for the time that MP gave up to sit in the House of Commons. Now let's rip into the numbers which come to us courtesy of Toronto Sun columnist Brian Lilly, and I'm paraphrasing. With just six years under his belt, it's not like Singh could be retiring with a massive pension, and the 44-year-old will still need to wait until the age of 55 to start collecting, but it would be a nice cushion for him at that time. According to numbers calculated by the Canadian Taxpayers Federation, Singh's annual pension in 2034, when he turns 55, would be worth $45,000 per year, more than many retirees live on. Because the MP pension is indexed, by the time Singh reaches the age of 60, his annual pension will be worth $54,000 a year. If the NDP leader lived until the age of 90, a very reasonable assumption, Singh's total payout to that point would be $2.3 million according to the Federation. Do not for a moment think that once Jagmeet's political career ends, he'll end up on Skid Row feeding his children dumpster cabbage. As a former federal MP and the leader of a national political party, he'll be heavily sought after by law firms across the country. Given how other lawyers have served as MPs, he'll command a top salary and that pension will be the icing on the cake. How would you handle the business of MP pensions if you were in a position to do so? I'd love to see your ideas in the comments. Thank you very much for watching, and if you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing.